Going live in five, four. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay, it's been a while. Um, I think the last time I actually checked in was um, I recorded the video during All Stars back in the fall. Uh, we've since done another All Stars. Uh, so it's been a minute. Uh, it's been a while. Um, lots is going on. A few things have changed. A few updates and stuff I want to talk about. Go over some more reports. Um, yeah, so, uh, just as a tip, um, when I'm not in Battlefield or working on anything, I'm always in Arabia, and my talents are always set to offering and blah, 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 so I have a, kind of a, I don't know what the hell you would call it, I guess, uh, construction and research, uh, training, compet, blah, 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 and then I have a PvP, uh, preset. Okay, uh, so I'm usually in the offering, uh, so I offered a shitload, and my current ranking is, uh, I'm in Archduke, so I'm, I'm fifth there under Ruthless Bunny, uh, I'm not aiming for Regent, uh, larger mark size would be great, but it doesn't get me an extra sub, I just want to be protected, uh, to holding my, my ten subs, uh, in which case, um, uh, Oh, fuck, does region get you another? No, it doesn't get you another sub. I think it just gets you the march size. Anyways, uh, so I got rid of the green. Uh, I was able to get, a, I think, another Russia. So I still got the blue Russia. Uh, but the rest are purple. And we got a couple gold, which is nice. So, again, for defensive. Um, I built a bit of power uh, since last time. So it's uh, probably been a couple months, actually, since I recorded that last video. It's probably been six months, to be honest. Um... So, uh, I've added power, and that's just through the gathering events or SVS uh, troop training days, uh, meaning my consumption events and all that stuff. Uh, so, some of the next upgrades is I've left barracks at 39, and I've actually moved on to upgrading the Keep 41. Uh, so, that's big news. Uh, now, Keep 41, and this is the case where I'm sitting, is it gets me nothing, really. Uh, it's just an ego boost, really. Uh, so currently I'm upgrading my army camp to 41, which means my rally spot's still at 40, and I'm still stuck on MA5. Um, so, but I think pushing the keep level is more important right now, uh, than barracks 40 and unlocking T15 that way. Uh, mostly for, uh, for research and buffs to be get. Uh, so I really want to push K42 eventually over time. Reason is, is in Military Academy 6 and 7, we have expanded uh, conscription, which is March size. Uh, so that happens at Academy level 6, which is KE41. And the expanded conscription, I believe, yes, Military Academy uh, 7. So uh, those two things are huge. Uh, the third one doesn't unlock until KE44, which is pretty laughable so forget about that for now i think ke42 is a good push over time maybe over the next six to eight months i think that could be very powerful a lot of buffs in there um a lot of the research as well i still have a lot of work to do still on ma5 uh so as we can see i've got a lot of work to do still uh chipping away slowly at it the one thing that's really 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 fucking pissing me off with ebony is we haven't had a tactical research event in at least two and a half months at the time of this recording, which it's basically the end of April. It's the 29th today uh, as I record this. So I'll try to upload this video as soon as I can, do a little bit of editing, hopefully be online the next day or two. But um, that's certainly been pissing me off. I want those rewards. I've been holding out. I've been reserving gold and tactical research. So as you know, I don't like to do events really outside of tactical research. So I've almost got 40,000 scrolls, which is really nice. 40,000 will go really far and nicely in MA6 and MA7. It gets gobbled up super fast, along with gold, in MA5. Uh, so this shit is... Well, I guess that one's not too expensive, but um, a lot of them are very expensive, uh, or they get very expensive. So if we don't get the event or I can't, uh, you know, it's going to still take some time to get MA6 and MA7. I still will continue with MA5 
and chip away at that stuff. Um, as for uh, uh, the Academy, I've upgraded it to 40, uh, which again, I had a little bit of surplus of gold and uh, research stones. And so I worked on this stuff. So this stuff's near complete and this stuff also, both in speeds, research stones and gold is super expensive. They're very nice buffs to get. I've done really well. So I've basically only got the last few tiers left. Um, but you know, I'm only doing maybe a couple to round out if I need say common speed consumption or, um, uh, some other, uh, some other event consumption or just, just to do them when I do have a surplus of speeds and gold. Uh, the one thing I want to probably do next, and it's a debate whether I do rally spot 41 first or MA6 first. Or this so I got uh, obviously my victory column to five which allowed me to do go, <clears throat> excuse me go to keep 41 but I'm actually uh, I've unlocked uh, victory column six uh, so obviously I just need to uh, get the RSS and the speeds uh, again um, it's, it increases your general's attributes your construction it reduces construction speed and research speed which I always love I always love conserving speed ups because uh, eventually you gobble into common speed ups, which can be used for healing and troop training, other things, and also a bit of march speed. Not much, but a little bit. Uh, so five percent on the reductions is really good, and then some extra general attributes is also good. Uh, so as these buildings come, like they're basically one building is almost a whole consumption. So that one's almost whole. I know the rally spot. Yeah, that's basically one consumption. This is beyond. So 33, so yeah, it gets very, very fat to do the walls again. Yeah, we're at 50 mil, and then to go to KE 42, which just requires walls. Yeah, we're looking at another 70, 70 bill. Uh, just join some rallies here. Nice stuff, nice stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I've added some power. We'll look at the troops in a bit. Um, uh, so yeah, uh... So main thing, yeah, since last time is, yeah, I've upgraded the Academy 40, KE 41, working on VP, VC 6, Rally Spot 41, uh, MA 6, then I'll go to KE 42 and then do those over again. We'll see what VC 7 is. It probably requires uh, more max spec generals, uh, fully ascended generals, uh, which uh, I'm still working on. And then... Um, uh, general power that might get tricky because I only have so much civ gear and max spec gens. Uh, so let's have a look at the generals and some refines and some work I've been doing. Uh, so I haven't played much SVS. Uh, these fifth specialties would be really great, as you know. I'm T1 CAD defense, uh, so the old troop uh, flat attack buff would be really great to unlock. I'm not spending on that package to fucking get it. There is one called. Um, Battle Forge or Iron Forge, it, it gives plus 800. This maxed out is plus 500. Uh, but again, if uh, you want to crack a $100 pack to randomly get one, and then you got to, it's a fucking joke. You got to spend a grand or more, I'm assuming. Um, so one upgrade is, yes, I swapped the pants out. Uh, so I got the two-piece bonus, all troop attack on defense. Uh, is plus 10%. I, I did the refine again. I, I ate that up. Um... I like this for the debuff a little bit better, the, the range troop defense, and then uh, some ground HP, because I'm starting to get upper layers of ground to also protect my ass, uh, which is another thing. Um, you know, once my top tier stuff is flattened, then yeah, I rely on my, uh, my T1 cav defense, uh, but in the meantime, I still got to buff my upper tiers to have a little more survivability. Um, haven't fully ascended uh, Electra, Grant, or Hannibal yet, uh, so I'll be working on those. Uh, for Hannibal, I kind of, and I said this probably a year ago, I uh, probably would have chosen Roland uh, just for his third uh, spec. Uh, he gets the March size. He's just a little more difficult to pair with, with another asshole. For Hannibal, I think I'm rocking, who am I rocking? Oh, uh, Andre Nassana, whatever the fuck his name is. He's mostly the uh, with the new Napoleon guy, but I'm obviously not going to get 16 copies of Napoleon. 
Uh, so Grant is my prestige percentage guy. Again, I love this guy just because of his uh, march size on third star. Uh, obviously, he's an old school general. Uh, his buffs aren't, uh, they've released so many siege generals since uh, that are far superior. But it's just, um, once again, um, uh, he's best for low corner free to play in my opinion just based on his ascension. Uh, so that gets talked about in a lot of other videos, uh, the feasibility of Ascension. My refines are doing good, and again, this is uh, uh, Ares gear that's been upgraded, or Ak gear that's been upgraded, aside from the Bracers, which, again, the three best pieces, best Civ pieces in the game are the Abyss Bracers, uh, High End Bracers, and Choreo Bracers, all because they have Siege range, that's my opinion. I use the Abyss Bracers on my uh, Wall General. Let's just go back there for a sec, not to be ADD here, or ADHD, or whatever the fuck. It's because of the debuff. So Siege HP debuff is really hard to find. Uh, it's got Ground and Mount Attack debuff, and it's got Range Defense debuff. So very superior debuff piece. Um, I get more utility out of it as a defensive piece with the Range Attack range. Versus using it on an offense piece, which is why uh, I use the choreo. And the choreo, you might think, yes, that's the two-piece bonus. Once again, we'll review that. Man, that's like a total waste, and it is for the two-set bonus. But look at this piece. When you really look at it, this still works in offensive attack. Siege, attack, plus 30, straight out of the gate. And it gives me that siege uh, uh, attack range. Yes, the in-city troop attack is fuck-all. Uh, the debuff still applies when attacking, but right there, the two main things are that siege attack and siege attack range. I, I personally think it's a great offensive piece on a budget, um, and I'd rather use this as my offense piece than the Abyss. Um, again, I get why the two-set bonus sucks. Um, you know, I maybe, maybe would have built it a little differently had I known how much my budget, my long-term budget would have been, but... I still think it's great. Once again, the Choreo Bracers, it's built-in Siege HP buff and Siege Attack buff. Um, and then it's got a little debuff. Um, so those two things right there, in my opinion, are really great. As you can see, the refines are actually... Holy shit. Uh, I landed some great refines on that. Um, so 25 is the max out here. I, th I think those are really well. I don't want to spend more gems to upgrade that. The most I'm, I'm going to get out of those 19s is you know, 23, like it, it just, the gem cost and refine stone cost to get a couple extra percents tough. These are really nice refines on a 25 max. Uh, so that's looking good. Going back to the bracer here. Uh, so this isn't maxed where I can start uh, advanced refining it. But again, the, the cost to get it there, maybe eventually, but uh, they're really nice rolls in my opinion for now. Uh, the HP is doing great, and the HP is doing great. So those refines are looking solid. Uh, Cav, uh, I think this is a really great free-to-play uh, setup. This is back when you can get the boots, which is a quote-unquote cake or big piece. Uh, I did, uh, I did was was able to land that, or and uh, you get the two-set bonus with it. It's really good. Cav buff again, thirty attack. So if we compare this with the Corio uh boots the choreo boots technically are better for a siege general than the plant boots are for a cav general aside from the two set bonus so the choreo gets you more hp but this as a set bonus will get you more attack but less hp it's all arguable but my point is the choreo boots and the choreo braces on the attack general work just fine in my opinion but yeah it's nice to have the helm and the boots and then i use the bourbon pants and bracers which are a really great two-piece bonus there. Uh, again, I amplified this one once. That's for the March size. You'll hear me often. Usually I'm beating off to anything that gives more March size. Um, I think March size is good. Creek, creek goes my chair. And then the Aries piece when attacking. Uh, so these two pieces are really great for Cav. And they've been upgraded. Uh, again, the refines looking looking decent here. Reviewing it here. Kind of take a mental note of uh, where I need to make some uh, adjustments. But honestly, uh, for a mid-corner, I think these refines are doing great. We'll talk about dragons in a bit. I did uh, splurge there back in December. Uh, to be honest, um, 
if I could do any work uh, or get a next big piece, it'd probably be the uh, plant bow. Um, which again, this bow's not too bad. It's serving the purpose. Uh, but it'd be nice to have that two-piece set and uh, get that range attack going. Um, so it looks like I'm rocking, yeah, the Ares helm and bow for the 18%. The Ares I haven't upgraded. I would upgrade it with uh, if I replace the bow and then um, uh, the plant boots and the, uh, or sorry, the Parthian boots and legs uh, for the 12-piece bonus. Uh, some good range attack in there. Refines are looking decent there. Uh, Ludwig. Uh, so I've been getting more and more... Um, more and more fragments of Elise. So I got enough Elise to actually uh, work on her and get her to... Don't mind me. Three star. Um... Uh, and at three star, once again, she gets March size. Now Ludwig, I'm stuck on one star. Uh, I'm not using the the uh, stupid event to try to get ten fragments of them for thirty bucks or whatever it's going to be. I think this. I, I didn't even bother with this. I don't want to bother with this. Uh, I'm not spending twenty bucks US to buy that. Fuck off. Uh, I think it's a waste. Uh, so I may actually, even though I even maxed fucking spec them, I may change to Elise um, on the, my next general maneuver. Uh, even though I've uh, maxed spec this motherfucker. Um, Elise has the March size. Ludwig, if I could ascend them, only has a March size plus 4. Elise is plus 14, if I recall correctly. And she's just more available in the Knights of Trial event. Where you can barter for more fragments. Um, and I'll use Ludwig in another capacitance. Probably to... Uh, fucking needs a dragon. Uh, probably to... Uh, so does Elise, but whatever. Uh, probably to rain people. But yeah, it'd be nice to have uh, another dragon. Um, but we'll see. Working on it. I'm collecting... Uh, what is it? The uh, All-Stars coin slowly. As you can see, I did land the sword. I don't know if I talked about that. Great two-piece bonus. Uh, I really like the um, the katana and the bracers. Bracers once again have the march size, which I've upgraded. Um, I like the um, Ares upgrade with the two-piece there, and then uh, two-piece of Ak. Uh, so lots of uh, two-piece set bonuses. So that's kind of a philosophy I got from playing MMOs. Uh, when you get, uh, you know, when you can work around, uh, you know, uh, like. Uh, fucking i don't know <laughs> dungeon gear and shit like that and um uh, mix and match stuff to to maximize uh, attack buff uh but he's looking really good um and there we at here yep that, there we go yeah so i've got uh i've got monarch level 42 which is nice that gives uh you know the more you increase uh the level of your general and max that out the higher the power, which unlocks things like the victory column and all that stuff, increasing your dragon level, uh, all that good stuff is other other tactics you can use to uh, increase the power of generals. Patronus uh, is my siege flat uh, general, um, and those are also looking pretty decent. Uh, so I got a couple more rolls to rock out there. Uh, but yeah, we're looking good. Again, I, I use the uh, high end. Um, yeah, high end, I can't remember if it was the rolls I got that were really good. Uh, this seems like a little bit better of a piece to use with my, um, uh, siege percents, but probably I rolled on each and ended up with good rolls, uh, for flats on this one and then percents on, uh, choreo and just said, fuck it. Um, but ideally probably, probably high end for your percents and uh the choreo for flat but uh yeah it's too expensive to go back for those pieces uh palace is going to be uh so she's got she's rocking the beast and she's probably going to be paired with my grant for that percentage march size alessandra fantastic got march size and obviously paired with uh ludwig and this fuck face with uh Ro uh, Roland, uh hannibal so again, all my guys uh, rocking uh, March size, and then 
Yeah, I wonder. Maybe I am using Zucca for... Uh, maybe I'm using... I gotta check my presets. Maybe I'm using Zucca for my percents. I can't remember. I'm gonna say I doubt it. There we go. Oh, I am. Oh, there we go. Oh, what the fuck is going on here? Okay, I gotta change my presets there. I gotta fucking rethink my life. Uh, yeah, I'll prob probably use Palace for my T11s. Um, but anyways, refines are looking good. Charles is, uh, my, uh, assistant to Electra. Uh, I've been trying to get more fragments of Electra because it's about time I ascended her. Uh, finding fragments of this bitch is really tough. Um, so I need another, looks like 32 to get to four star. And then after that, it's another 150 for the fifth five star. So that's 182 more fragments, so that is going to be a grind to obtain. So don't mind me, some juicy fucking rallies. Let's not miss out. Um. Oh, fuck the junior. <laughs> I don't know why he's running that. Uh, so yeah, so that's, uh, where the keep's at, some forward thinking, uh, so probably Victor Column 6, Rally Spot 41, MA6, back to KE42, which is Walls, then KE42, and then MA7, and, uh, Rally Spot 42, and we'll see what Victor Column 7 requires. I'm assuming it's going to be something hefty to do with, um, uh, uh, yeah, general power and ascending generals and stuff. Uh, which otherwise, uh, if I haven't talked about this, I did get more bald ones, which was impressive. Uh, so I have one, one more fragment worse. So if I get a second one, I'll probably, yeah, send them again. Uh, even though that range and siege defense, um, I got a Mark Anthony. Uh, he's good if I'm uh, not fully ascending. Uh, I did get, uh, Santa Claus. And that's just to rock out some more Siege HP. Won't ever ascend him. He'd be fantastic ascending. Uh, but probably won't end up ascending him. So I'm just going to use the one. Uh, in the meantime, uh, my one boil is fully ascended. Uh, uh, he, uh, Andrew Jackson's really good ascended. Been working on some fucking duty generals. And ascending them. Probably would try to... Toyota, what the fuck? Am I running out of battery? I'm running out of battery. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna get to a fucking charger. I don't know if the screen dimmed for you, but it did for me. Holy fucking Diana. <laughs> Let there be light. Right on. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, he gives good uh, buffs to everybody that siege, cav, ground, range. Um, probably should maybe work on his specs, but I don't have copious amounts of, uh, this shit. Um, yeah, and I'll probably use all that to go for at least, it's probably my next thing. Um, yeah. Oh, um, I did manage, I think. I think last time I've got my Civ Treasure to four, which is really nice, including the no, did I get that? Yeah, for fuck's sake. So I still need to work on the egg. I still do uh, a tile fifteen or sixteen every day. Let's get to get those eggs and get those rewards. Uh, I should have a bunch. There we are. So these are really nice. Uh, gain for a mid corner. You know what? It's nothing. There we go. Even some gems and all that stuff. Uh, some speed ups RSS, same thing in here. So march speeds. Look at that, forty march speeds. Some march, march size boosts. Uh, again, as a passive thing to do, just before you're going to bed or whatever, um, I usually uh, start crawling to a uh, a tile. Uh, you need it for the daily tasks, which I'm I'm a firm believer of doing the activity. It's a slow grind, but you get a little bit of something from each one. And if you do it daily, which is pretty easy to do daily, uh, you get some accumulated rewards that are uh, worth worth grinding out for. Um, you know, if you're spending $3,000 US a week, you you might not care about that shit. But, you know, if you're spending 50 bucks a month, uh, then that shit adds up. Uh, back in December, uh, I did open the wallet. 
I had enough of not having a flat uh, flat and a percent siege dragon and not having a mounted dragon. Uh, so I got Jazar. And yes, it, uh, Jazar has fuck all to do with siege. It doesn't have anything to do with siege. It's a in city, uh, it's a replacement for Thebes effectively. Uh, oops. Um, but I wanted it so I could refine the motherfucker. So with these refines, I'm floating around, you know, 750 um, siege flat attack, um, which is where I want the buff. That and it gets, obviously the general gets a, a, a stat boost as well, uh, which isn't going to help that that much, uh, but it'll help a little bit. Um, so dragons are good. Uh, so I re-refined uh, Fafnir for siege percents. So I'm rocking out on my siege. And then I got the stupid uh, Fasalt uh, dragon. Now obviously uh, Nidhogg or Ziz or is um, your premium generals um, for your Cav. Uh, I haven't worked towards Nidhogg yet. Um, I haven't been able to play Battlefield as much lately. A uh, bit of a pity. Um, but again, uh, by equipping the dragon you still get the stat bonuses. You get the refines, which is what I care about. And um, here's what matters to me. So the in rally buff, uh, in rally troop attack, uh, still applies to your battlefields and your troop buff. Uh, slowly worked on the third spec there, which is uh, you get a march speed buff, and then obviously the uh, range attack debuff is uh, is nice to activate for battlefield. I'm probably never gonna touch this. Um, so the ground HP is okay, but for the cost, I'm working on other things for sure. Or saving my uh, resources um, to do um, to do other talents and other dragons. Uh, so mounted attack on monsters, don't give a shit. But uh, in rally mounted troop attack, that's thumbs up. So that works for my uh, my battlefield cav general. Hey, son of a bitch, let's join the witch. Okay. Um, I think it's been a long time since I looked at this shit. Um, so yeah, I, I've maxed these out. The talents aren't super crazy. Um, I've kind of just been doing a little bit. They get very expensive for a mid corner. Uh, so maybe to round off, say, a gem consumption, if I'm aiming for the million or two million, which is usually per event where I'm going, uh, you know, I'll, I'll round it off by doing maybe five of these or a couple of these. Uh tried working on my Thebes a little bit uh so that's been really good uh to get that slowly done it's refined for the cav hp which i think i had it for cav attack when i first started playing a, this account a little over a year ago it was uh a year ago in december so it's been oh shit almost one and a half years um so uh, the account's come a long way since then it was k35 not all t14s were unlocked um, uh, it was 350 million power. Uh, it was a little anemic. Uh, so I've had a lot of power. Uh, so I think the last time we left off, I was maybe, uh, eight or nine million, sorry, eight or nine billion power. Uh, so let's look at some troops here. So I've added, uh, uh, some upper layers. Um, I've added basically, uh, rally bullets mostly. Uh, that's a, a good chunk of it. Uh, so we do a lot of, obviously, Archer, Siege, Cav, uh, ground occasionally for cleanup, but ground's good for defense. Um, obviously not as good um, for keep my size. Um, uh, we've seen before is uh, Cav is, uh, is a very popular uh, um, uh, rally against me, and rightly so. It, uh, it's very crippling, very powerful. Cav's very powerful um but again uh starting to work on it i probably won't increase my lower layers past the four million um i think i'm gonna stick to rally bullets and upper tiers maybe team eight to t14 i might up a little bit um but i've certainly worked on my wall uh so what do we got uh, some t4s uh, i'm gonna try to push 20 mil uh t3s i'm pushing 80 mil uh t2s i've worked on uh so i'm hoping for 250 mil and look at that that t1 wall so i'd really like to push two bill 
Um, I'm obviously a good chunk away from that, but I'm far past the bill. Uh, so this is this is uh, this is survivability. Uh, the other thing I think, and just checking some reports, and we'll review them. Uh, I think some T1 ground is going to help. Uh, I'd probably really like to increase that to maybe uh, I think a good goal to start with to aim for would be 300 mil. And then maybe uh, 500 mil if it's uh, if it's really helping out in some of my defenses against archers. So uh, lately, with the increase of power, uh, siege is coming at me more often, especially for my size, and it's also been very effective. Uh, my siege defense and debuff is uh, is uh, not very good. It's very hard to get those buffed uh, for mid corner and debuffed, of course. Um, so that's why siege is uh, very very powerful again uh, in particular siege percents and then archer of course is uh is having its uh having its heyday with uh with myself as well um so yeah so we've got some updates about where things are at where my generals are at um again i'm probably going to swap to elise get that march size going um i don't have another dragon for ludwig but all his uh specs are done so I may use him as a backup, uh, uh, either taking buildings with uh, a small tier or layered uh, troop count in Battlefield or using to pre-rain people with the uh, just layers um, with, say, uh, the old Napoleon, uh, who gives a small buff to uh, all troop types. Or I may uh, do uh, a tavern dumpster dive and go for, say, uh, Dimitri. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. I haven't decided yet. Um, I'm, I'm, I, uh, I'll work on it. I'll work on it. That's probably, this is probably my next maneuver for generals. Um, all my gear is looking, I think really good. There's, uh, there's only a couple refines I think that need, uh, super addressing like the siege, uh, percent on my flat, uh, flat general. So obviously that could be, uh, that could be, uh, uh, helped. Uh, but everything else is looking decent. Uh, it really is. Um, uh, again, probably the next maneuver here would probably go for the plant bow. Get a two-piece set. Um, oh, one other thing I haven't talked about actually is upgrading my uh, debuff pieces. So, uh, so as you can see, I, I use the upgraded airy stuff because uh, I've split the set. And then I'm using some sieve pieces for uh, some debuff. And then this is Ack gear that's been upgraded. Uh, like the helm here. Oh, here's a complete set. So slowly, uh, slowly I've been getting complete sets. Um, increases the individual pieces debuff. And then the set bonus is um, goes to 18% from 15%. So you get an extra 3% there. And again, it's uh, every bit count sort of thing. Uh, Augustus, oh man, this, this one's super good. Oh, so good. Um, so what I got is I got a ring, I got a boot, that's, uh, upgraded act pieces, and uh, these are the Ares, and then from there, uh, yes, I've got an upgraded helm, so from here I'll upgrade, uh, an axe, a chest piece, and legs, those three pieces, and when I do, I'll swap them to here, and then take out the six pieces, and then add it to one of these generals, and swap it out that way. Uh, it's kind of the the motif there, because uh, yeah, the tokens unless you're super spending are um, are slow coming. But yeah, I've got three sets, three or four sets completed. Uh, so obviously one, two, three, three or four more sets. I think three more sets to go ish. Three more. One, two, three. Yeah, four four more sets. So. It's a grind. Yeah, it certainly is. It's a grind. Hey, asshole. <laughs> Get over here. Uh, so yeah, where are we at for that? Um, I think I upgraded some pieces this week, so... Uh, yeah, I only got 18 right now, so... Holy Dino. Gotta deconstruct some shit. Oh, boy. How about that for video content? Yeah, so... I've got legs... I've got a chest piece, but what I don't have is an upgraded axe. 
So those are moot points. I'm not going to, I have nowhere to put these that I want to put them. Uh, so I just got to hold on to them until I get the axe. And I already have the ring on somebody else, the boots and the helm. So I'll give them the unupgraded pieces and then move all six pieces to a general and swap it over is the idea there. And then just slowly do that. Usually uh, per crafting event, and I do wait for the crafting event. Again, um, it's not the biggest deal to... Uh, uh, I, I just wait, because if I'm not going to get all six pieces at once anyway, like I just do a couple during the event, I just wait it out. And then I just barter for the good shit. So usually it's... Um, usually in any event... Uh, the first things I'm going for are tactical scrolls, treasure chests, or Trevor, whatever the fuck, treasure box. I'll go for runestone chests. Uh, we find stones occasionally, research stones. Uh, gold is another one I grab, and usually say speeds. Um, it depends for something like Trial of Knights. Uh, I went for the Elise pieces. Uh, obviously the Blood of Ares first, and then Elise pieces. Um, I took some, uh, Dragon Source stones, I did the boxes, I did the, uh, Tactical Scrolls, I did the, uh, Rune Stones. Uh, I skipped Refined Stones, because I actually, on this account, have a lot of Refined Stones, and then grab Gold, actually. Uh, so, for me, Gold is more important than Refined Stones. Um, I've got lots of Refined Stones, I don't have a lot of Gems, and I don't have a lot of Gold, so those, for me are uh, more of a priority than um, the refined stones. Otherwise, the refined stones might, uh, depending on what your inventory is, uh, help a little better. Um, holy fuck have I been blabbing. Um, okay, so that's that in a nutshell, as it were. Uh, let's have a look at some fucking reports. Um, so I think where we left off, this is uh, probably Shalom's. Uh, back in January, so this is a couple months after, uh, I was probably sitting, yeah, nine, nine-ish bill, um, had a lot of solo siege come at me, um, usually it hurts the first hit, they're gonna clear out, say, T14, T13, and then they start splatting, so, uh, looking at my debuffing again, uh, I've done some upgrades since, uh, so I'm really trying to increase that Siege HP and Defense debuff, but I mean, yeah. Um, doesn't even look like my attack's maxed here, so again, the attack could be, uh, also boosted there. Uh, we're kind of seeing some of my max debuffs here. Um, ish. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, the trade kind of goes even, he's gonna hurt my Siege. If you look at uh, when he ends up killing, so actually, oof, looks like all my siege was dead at this time. So maybe I was uh, a little higher power. So yeah, he's starting to clear, starting to clear out my range actually, which is what siege does. If you have no siege, then it starts attacking the range. Um, yeah, he comes in for a solo. So I do this uh, on another account, a bigger account. Is I actually have a range flats general. Which, since KE45 has come out, it's kind of moot. But it helps against keeps of my size or half my size. Like that 1 to 4 build T1 trap or T1 defense. Helps kill layers before you, say, uh, try doing uh, a cab and or ground solo. Uh, you might be able to, to clear them out, but depends on reins. Um, uh, but yeah, this is a... I believe mostly a good tactic to kill out um, layers uh, so it makes you more vulnerable. But again, in, in situations like this, I'm trying to heal a preset of layers, 50,000 roughly. Um, and another CG. Uh, to uh, to try to keep uh, my, my set of layers up. Uh, so range, yeah. So what does he got for range attack? Yeah, I'm assuming this is a backup range general, so... Uh, I've got him decently debuffed, and then for range, yeah, I probably don't have a lot of upper tier calves left. Um, uh, certainly at 6 bill, that's probably where a lot of my power is sitting, and then probably in... Uh, yeah, some ground. Yeah, mostly ground, ground. I do have some T12 cav. Okay. And what's my wall looking at at the time, so... Oh yeah, so my wall's pretty tick there. 
Uh, we can see T1 Ground doing a bit of work here, uh, which makes me think uh, they're doing more work than the mounted, actually. So I really think uh, I'm probably going to pump my T1 Ground a little bit uh, to get me a little bit of uh, fucking defensive there. So uh, I have, looks like, two reins. Uh, we go a little negative, um, but yeah. Um, another siege attack. Okay, so this is a fresh battle. I think a week later. Uh, so yeah, I'm 10 bill here. So that's pretty decent actually. So I was probably pretty fresh. Um, for a siege attack on an Oprah on me, it's going to do really well in terms of points. Again, my buff and debuff is not very good. And um, and look at that, 3,600%. Like 3,100 3, HP. Like yeah, that's, uh, that's going to do really well. Um, it didn't do super well. Mostly, uh, in my opinion, it's probably because they sent this either early or in a panic. Um, it still did well. It still hurt me. Um, uh, so, but yeah, 25 million rally. Um, still went positive overall. Uh, next thing they do. Okay, they come in with Archer. Uh, yeah, they don't, if I recall this battle correctly, they didn't have very good rally power. Uh, so 22 mil, uh, is, like, it's gonna be the buffs that are hurting me, it's not the troop count. Yeah, so 3600, uh, is really good. You can see my range attack is, uh, tapped out there, I, I don't have a max, so I've got about 2480, so yeah, uh, I could use a lot more range attack debuff. But I think it's the rally size that's really kind of crippling them. So then they come in with another siege. Uh, it's either T11 or if it's Big Siege, again, it doesn't do as well. Uh, they trimmed the fat off already, so they were probably looking to clear out some uh, Archer uh, archer layers. But uh, yeah, I got more rings by now, and now uh, now they're, they're training evenly or not very well at all. And all the meanwhile, while we're counter-rallying. Um, so he tries to solo a Cav. I don't know what he was thinking there. Uh, is his buffs 3,200-ish? Yeah, so... Um, now, there's a lot of defenses I lose, especially when we scroll up. But I just want you to know that, like, while that's all happening, or if I get crushed in three taps, or even two taps, um, you know, our team is doing the same. I'm joining rallies. We are doing damage to other teams. And, and it's a matter of attrition. I'm a keep of size of, like... Uh, if they do land an attack or rally on me, uh, they can see, they can check the report, they can see what I have left, they can see my buffs, debuffs, reigns, all that stuff. And, uh, you know, uh, if I look like a juicy target, they'll probably keep targeting me until, I, um, until I'm destroyed. But I just wanted to show, like, we're doing, you know, OP damage as well on the offensive, and which is where a lot of fun is. And, you know, we're... We're, we're doing a similar thing to other keeps of my size uh, and level. Uh, so this guy's got, looks like better bust than me anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> trying to get discouraged. I'll show you some more attack reports uh, later. So here's one I got cleared out. But that's that's a building. I should delete that one. Uh, so now, what are we at? 17. So this is about two weeks later. So it's probably, look at that. It's an archer opener. Um, so it goes about even, um, I've got, I'm going to guess one rain or two small size rains. Um, but really, I think this is a great, uh, this is a great, great report. Uh, they hurt me. Sure. Um, the power trade goes roughly even, even maybe a little bit positive. I'm not dead by any means, but they're going to be, uh, so Archer range 3,300. So that's, that's very good. I mean, there's buffs far beyond that. They're up to 4,500, even 4,800 I've heard, uh, you know, as of today's recording, uh, which is fucking insane. But I think um, if you see anything 3,200 and above on any attack, that's pretty high. Um, 3,600 plus is super. Um, that's that's pretty, pretty, pretty thick. If you see 4,000, that's just insane. And it exists. And it exists in pretty high quantity. So yeah, I had one one rain, ground rain. That's great. Thank you, VV, you motherfucker. Uh, of course, they're going to clear out my cav, upper tiers. So down to 11, 10, 9, 8. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, so 
And where do they stop? Six, tier five, tier four, ouch. Tier three, fuck me, tier two. Oh yeah, so they stop at my wall. So my wall stays intact, so that's not too bad. That's uh, that's pretty good. So, successful attack, they get rid of all my cav, for sure. So I'm not going to be effective in offensive cav uh, rally attacking, unless I heal uh, a preset, and keep joining that if I heal it once or twice, and then have at least um, one or two presets of uh, cav to join uh, cav rallies. And that's great, which is probably what I would do in this position, unless I keep getting targeted, and then I might bounce. Uh, I, might, uh, I might tie them up by focusing on me. Uh, so here's a great report. Uh, they come in with ground. Uh, so they may have set... Um, let's see here, what time is this at? 1546. 15, so this is roughly... Yeah, they may have set... So that's Cav again, hang on. 4606, so, so that's 30 seconds apart. They may have set Tav and Ground uh, back to back. Uh, I'm surprised the Ground is actually, no, nope, this is another Cav. Okay, what the fuck is going on here? That's, oh, sorry, Archer, Cav, Ground. Okay, what the hell is this? Another Cav, which still didn't get me. Okay, so they Archered, went even, they Caved. And that went even to a little bit less. Um, so we're rocking nearly 3,400% on the cav. I don't have the attack all debuffed. Uh, my defense and HP could be increased. Um, um, uh, but yeah, so they're going to kill obviously my, um, yeah, my ground with all that shit. All my upper tier stuff. Yeah, wow. So this is the kind of thing where... Rallying bullets and upper tiers is great, but I'm gonna be dumping points, I think, to uh and this is also why T1 ground wouldn't be so shit hot. Uh so they clear out half my T1 wall here. Um I think in between these attacks, nope. They try clearing me with ground. I get lots of rain, thankfully. That I think the rain saved me here. Uh I'm basically dead post this uh post this attack. Um, but thankfully, uh, I probably healed some layers. I got more rain. We ended up going positive. Um, but yeah, they even, yeah, 3,200 of the ground attack. Yeah, that's rich. And then they come in with another cab. But yeah, we can see I, I, I healed, I healed some of my wall. <laughs> but I mean, eh, we went sort of positive. Rains did really good. And then, uh, they come in with ground again. So... So Archer, Cav, Ground, Cav, Ground, Heal in between, and then they ended up getting me and went super positive. They took out the reins and everything. So in the end, uh, they focused on me and then crushed me. So, But I was able to survive. I probably, if I was more cheeky, uh, probably would have been good to fuck off after the Cav attack and healed my wall in layers and then ported back near the Alliance, uh, near the Hive. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if, uh, how, how offensively we were doing, how quick we were rocking it. If, uh, we were just aiming to grab points. Um, it's hard to say. Uh, I can't remember the battle exactly. Yeah, so Soul Archer. So I'm not 100% sure on this tactic here. Um, I think this just could be trying to take out some of my layers. Uh, same with this attack. It's another Solo Archer. Um, yeah, that one hurt. <sighs> Fuck, no reins. So, no reins is kind of a sad face. But you got to look at that, uh, look at this report. So, yeah, they went positive. Um, uh, they probably took out most of my T1 wall. Um, but, dude, that's a fucking 43, no, that's a 53 million fucking troop rally? That's pretty good. As a mid corner 10 bill at this point, 10 and a half bill, 53 million rally. That's uh that's pretty good. I have options here. I can port away, I can heal my T1 wall and layers, which is always what you do if you have enough heals and, and that that's the plan. And then keep going. Um so yeah, so we're almost 3400 percent on that archer attack, and this is two months ago. Uh no, sorry. Is that March? 
a month, month and a half ago. Okay, so 3,400% is very respectable, though. And, uh, but yeah, I, uh, uh, I tank it. I still will tank it. But what happens in the second report here? What do they try for? Nope, that's not me. So let's get rid of that. Ah, well. <laughs> <laughs> and then that happened uh so i didn't heal anything i don't know if uh i had a march out i couldn't pour it or whatever it's uh it's a cab so that's a natural thing to do um very 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 big rallies it's gonna be archer cav should clear a keep of my size all stars probably cav straight up uh or archer uh one of the two will probably uh clear a player of my buffs and size it just is um, we're talking all stars though. So we're talking anywhere from 70 to a hundred million fucking rally. There's not many people surviving that even keeps a large buffs and stats and all that. So that's kind of a sad face, but yeah, that's the way that one rolled down. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Tax loss. We could delete that one. Oof. Getting a little more power. Got a few more rains, but yeah, that, uh, just one rain yeah that's again the siege so this is probably a really grotesque siege uh, three thousand percent okay so it's nothing super crazy but what's happening here is for sure so yeah they kill all my siege and now they're um, i'm a fresh keep so they've killed all my siege and now they're killing my archer so that's super painful look at that t12 t11 archer t10 archer Holy shit. T8 Archer. Okay, they stopped it. They stopped at T8 Archer. Wow. So yeah, that was uh that was super destructive. Uh that hurt a lot. So again, uh, here's an example of uh probably a lot of keeps in this rally are, are really well buffed. Uh the setters uh fairly is very well buffed. I mean three thousand on siege is really good. And then uh you know, it's a 42 million rally. I've only got one uh, rain. If I were to guess, yeah, it's a mount rain. Yeah, so mounts okay. They did really, they actually did most of the killing. Fuck me. Well, they probably grabbed lots of good points off that. Uh, as for me, my shit did very little. See if what the wall did here. Oh yeah, the wall the wall did good. But yeah, that that's that's pretty pretty gross. So that's a two to one trade. So that's not the kind of power trade you want. Ideally, I should have ported if I could have, uh, or gotten more rains. Uh, they come in again. Here we go. Now we got two rains. So they come in with cav, which is probably what I would do because. All my uh, archer range is gone, so now I'm cav and ground. Cav is probably the natural counter to that, especially since I still have that wall. But that wall is doing work. So here's a reversal of power trade here. Cav uh, buff is very good. Um, my debuff's not maxed on it, but it's increasing there. So looks like I got uh, 2750, but some of it's still getting through full force. Uh, I've got. Um, Two rains. They still take out my upper layers, so they trim some fat for sure on that ground. Uh, they don't kill all my cav though. Looks like they stop at holy smokes. They stop at T8 ground. Yeah. So okay. Solo attack that went good. Ground man. I don't know. Oof. Here's another opener. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so this is, uh, yeah, let's start here. Uh, where are we at here? Alpha, this is, oh yeah, this was just the other day. Okay, so that's where that's at. So, yeah, that that was a bad smack. The cab went positive when I got two reins. Then, uh, yeah, I took a solo ground, which ain't gonna do anything when I still got two, two billion troops left, dude. <laughs> so that was fun. Uh... Ground bus, uh, it must be a backup general. Uh, I don't have them well debuffed, uh, so that's good, I believe. Fuck. Okay, so after this archer attack, yeah, which again goes negative, um, 
We're rocking a 41 million rally ish, 3000% buffs. But again, probably uh, probably everybody in the rally's got really good buffs. We're going positive. I've only got one rain, and it's an archer. No, it's a siege. My bad. Uh, it's a siege range, which is yeah. So that one went horrific. Another solo. Again, he's gonna take me out. They underestimated how many troops I had left, but then, yeah, no reins, and I, I believe I ported by this point, but I got caught with no reins. It's another archer one. Goes fairly poorly. Yeah. So even though I uh, probably healed, uh, I'm gonna say I healed some layers in between each hit, but. Yeah. Uh, fuck is this? Oh, this might be at a building or something. But again, uh, yeah. we're we're like I said, we're we're doing the same on the offensive. Uh, this is me uh, just healing um, presets. Joining Riley still. Um, still doing. Is these the only one I kept? I thought I fucking had a whole bunch of these fuckers. And here we go. So yeah, so we're we're doing the same thing on the offensive here. Some really nice reports. So and we're all part of the that team doing the thing. Same just here at theirs. Some nice clears. Look at that. That's good. Ah, some redemption. <laughs> oh, oh shit! How did I scroll past this? Um, interesting. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, no reins. Uh, so archer. Yeah, that archer is gonna hurt. Yep, yep, yep. I believe this was Shallons again. Yeah. Okay. So I had one rain. He's trying to <laughs> ground. So I might have healed uh, in between those hits. I might have. I probably healed uh, my wall a little bit. I want to say yeah. He attacked me. <laughs> yeah. So if I got no more siege left and not much archer and I'm just layers and. Um, my wall then uh yeah tax like that are gonna go super negative so here's another one so 31 yeah so he's not doing good uh here's another one that's another siege yeah uh once my fat's trimmed off i mean these types of solo attacks can be very deadly uh so he's attacking with his subs too uh, these tacks can be very deadly if I got my T13 and, you know, T14 down. But if I don't have any of that stuff, man, that is, uh, that's, uh, that's a waste for them. Then they tried, uh, cabin me. Yeah, that's where that left off. So, uh, they go about even, uh, on the power trade with one rain. But, uh, again, not a very big rally. That's 20 mil. So that's not going to have the impact with all the layers and, and amount, troop amounts. This is probably my most uh, impressive. Now, I got two tapped, and that's bad. <laughs> but I survived the first one and had options had I ported or been a little more smarter with that. Karu, who's a really known, amazing setter, uh, probably has an amazing team, uh, or does have an amazing team, has a really good buffs. so we're walking 33 and a half, uh, well, 3,300 and a half. And that's all the way back in, you know, mid-January. So we're talking three, three and a half months ago-ish. Um, so he's only improved since then. But check this out. This, this, look at this rally size. That's uh, 54. 54 million um, with a great team. But I, uh, we go a li I go a little negative with it. But he doesn't kill me, which is amazing. So I could have ported way, way away. Probably healed my wall. Came back. Maybe healed. Uh, that's probably what I should have done. I may have been still stuck in um, uh, some rallies. Uh, this was Shalons, I believe. Um, so, or just, you know, anxiety or whatever. Now the cab clears me out and they go super positive. I'm like, no, sorry, it's another archer tap. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not going to survive a double archer tap then. Okay. I thought it was uh, archer cab, but no double archer then. Mm, okay. So probably after this hit, yeah, I should have ported, uh, not healed any of my calves except for T1s, maybe some T2s. 
um, and then healed maybe some rally bullets, all except for Cav. And they may have tried to archer me again, which probably wouldn't have went as positive um, in this kind of scenario. Obviously, it hurts not to have reins. Uh, just it was Sean's. There's three other teams. It's very hard to. It's go go go. It's very uh, it's very nuts. So I uh, could have done a little bit better with self preservation. That's kind of the lesson learned here. Uh, but I'm actually kind of proud of this. I I didn't get one tap by Karu. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. This guy's uh Kara is very um he's an all-star setter. He's very good. Uh so uh, kudos to him and the team. Um but yeah, I think it's pretty decent that um I could have had options. Uh, I didn't exercise them unfortunately. Um lesson learned next first tap I take if I'm not completely crippled or dead. Uh that's what we do uh, cuz it's obviously a lot more expensive to heal it from here than it would have been from here. In terms of speeds and cost and so forth. So, um, yeah, it kind of depends who we're facing against. If I got rains and stuff, uh, what's going on? Um, by no means invincible. And there's very few keeps that are could be considered invincible or they're virtually invincible. Uh, uh, you know, uh, for a mid-corner to low-corner, which is what I would characterize my as, probably low-corner since Aptoid's gone away. By the way, fuck you. Uh, so it really sucks Aptoid's gone. I refuse to spend any big money. Um, uh, I can make a whole video uh, bitching about that. Um, that's really just pathetic. It's just an example. They probably had unscrupulous business practices, and Aptoid's like, fuck you. So um, who knows what happened? Um... It's kind of where I'm guessing. Uh, so yeah, Aptoid was in, was at least... <laughs> it made coining a little bit more grace or just a little bit more acceptable. For me now, uh, especially since I paid Canadian dollars, and not only do I not get Aptoid coins in return to give me a discount, plus a discount off of purchases, I've got to pay Canadian fucking tax on shit I buy on this shitty game. So there's just no way I'm fucking doing it. Uh, it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, Aptoid was probably about a 40 to 45% converted like savings. Uh, so no, I don't want to spend. So the only thing I'm really buying is gems on this account. Stamina pack because as you can see we're fucking always rallying. And thank fuck we had a double um, construction event to uh, give me some uh, fucking stamina back as reward because uh that was totally needed i'm always running low so maximize that reward got some more stamina back maximize this shit blah 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 but uh yeah i don't i don't have a lot uh so thankfully the next one's in uh by the end of the week here so at least that uh oops uh what else um I think that's pretty much the updates. Uh, some, some, like I said, some attack and defense reports. Once again, no one's invincible. It's about building a keep that's uh, has some utility and survivability, and uh, and uh, is uh, is helpful to the team in terms of offensive power and try not to dump too much points away in between taking uh, hits. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, so, man, that's kind of, uh, where I've been, what's going on, um, I think some, some positive things are, um, uh, oh, fuck, Huns is coming back, no, wait, that's, that's old, I'm using an old date, because I was going to use fucking, no, oh, hey, fuck, yeah, so crazy, uh, crazy eggs is, uh, is all around, so that's super good, that's gems and stamina, uh, I think that's a positive change Evany's done, Along with dwarfs apples, which is also stamina, speeds, and the stupid pies. So that's a positive change. I, I won't hate on every absolutely everything. There's a lot of things top games I loathe them for. Um, I can't fault them for that. So that's a positive thing. Uh, of course, a new champion. I'm not even gonna look at that. Uh, fuck you. Um, yeah. What else? Uh, yeah. That's about it. Um, yeah, any questions? Uh, if you'd like uh, any other kind of uh, type of videos or any fucking other videos or got any questions, 
leave your comments in the section below. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, ask me up. That's where I'm at.